Hi my friends, I hope you are well. Um, today's video is going to be my very first build my own palette using all of my eyeshadow singles. And the palette that I want to recreate a version of is the ABH Fall Romance Palette. I have wanted that palette and been enamored with that palette since it came out. This past week I actually was in a Sephora and I swatched it and I was about to buy it but then I said no let me use my singles because that's why I have a singles collection. So if that sounds interesting that's what we will be doing today. Why don't we start by um, taking a look at this palette. So this came out in the fall of 2023 and I, I know the color that caught my eye like many people is that divine shade that kind of magenta um, shade on the top row it's called divine and then moonlight which is like a sparkly lavender. Um, overall it also looks like it's kind of a warm toned palette but I just thought this was so beautiful and but that's also when I started to think I have singles and let me just recreate it on my own and so I'm happy that we're finally here. I did have a video where I um, organized my singles collection and sorry about that shaking um, and I have organized them some more actually uh, after thinking about how I wanted to store them. So I'll just show you what we're dealing with. Here's my Odin's Eye Singles. And then these are some other brands. Um, I don't recall offhand. This is Shine by SD. This is Shell We. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of like my, my special shades in here. And then um, I got more of these kind of big book size Adept palettes. I just really like these. So this one is essentially all my neutrals. This one is um, my kind of rainbowy mattes. And then this one is shimmers, um, both neutral and colorful, that are depotted shades from a variety of different palettes that are uh, Jeffree Star, ColourPop, Juvia's Place, um, an unearthly palette is in here and a, a nomad palette as well. So this is what we're going to start with. Um, so let's start by just taking a number of shades out. I'm not trying to make an exact dupe of this palette. I more so um, just really want to um, kind of get those colors in there and I'll maybe play around with some of the finishes that I use. So I'm just going to pull some things out. Um, that I think might be some good candidates for some of these. Uh, so this is, I'm looking for that moonlight shade. Let me take this one as well. Um, there's that smoke shade in the upper left. Smoke and leather, I think that's really pretty. So that looks like sort of a cool toned kind of gold um, to me. And then <clears throat> let's take this one too. Then there's Fireside, which looks like a copper type of shade. So let's get a couple to go with that. I don't know, maybe I will end up making a dupe. I don't know, but we'll see, right? We're having fun. Oh, this looks like a, a good option. Okay. Um, what other, let me see, crown. Um, that's a shade that's, I don't know, it's a little more like a yellow gold, bright, a bright color. Although I feel like I have some of those here. We'll keep these for now because I also have my special shades that um, I need to show you in there. All right. Let me just take another one. Um, that's a beauty bay shade. And then there's that midnight shade, which is sort of a shimmery purple. Now, the color purple in here, like that divine shade, that looks like a grape, <clears throat> like a red-toned purple. Um, it, it's a magenta. It's a magenta, right? So midnight is 
sort of along those lines. Let's take these here um, and see what else we have. Okay, so now I'm going to move this over. Let's continue by looking at our special shades. Okay, so I think this one's going to be good. So here is where's my tool. I feel like this Glaminatrix shade, this is Kitten, is going to be um, a good option. Actually, I feel like a number of these might be good options. So... This is Mink, which looks like a good option for the shade Smoke. Um, this one, this is a holochrome from Bella Butte Bar. It's called Witch B, uh, fill in the blank. Um, and this, this one's gorgeous. So that's a possibility. Um, Let's see. Oof. This is Fox. Let's take out Fox. And, okay, let's stop there. Now, what do we have on the other side? Oh, these are my Odin's Eye. Okay, so for Odin's Eye, let's... Um, Oops, I always do that. I always stab the shade. Did anybody else do that? Okay, I'm taking out from Odin's Eye, I have Thor, and I think I want to um, try out Luke. And there's that lavender shade. No, that's... Lavender shade is more, as I understand from looking at um, different people's videos, the moonlight is more like a topper. So, okay, we'll move away from that one for now. Okay, next is, let's see. Okay, let's look at some mats. Um... So there's that forest green, and I think we have a few different shades of it that we can try. By the forest green, I mean the shade thorns. Then there's crimson, which looks like um, crimson looks like a reddish brown. And I have these here. Let's take this one. Let's take this one from Nomad. Um, okay. Leather. Leather's kind of like a taupe. Ugh, those are annoying. These pans from Nomad, um, it's not easy to get the stickers to stick to them. And then this is so magnetic that they come off. It's not a... It's not a fault of the Nomad pan. It's just um, irritating. There's also, now I see this shade here. This is a ColourPop shade. And you see there is, um, let me see, uh, the shade Ember. That is a brown with sparkle in it. And Ember looks to be like it's lighter than Crimson, that reddish brown. So that might be a good option for that one. Okay, what else? Um, leather. Let's take out that. Uh, looks darker in the picture. Let's see. Okay. Um, 
we did crim oh thorns we did thorns and then there's twilight so twilight it's interesting if you look at the palette twilight looks like it's a forest green but then on the swatches or at least the shades that are crumbled it looks more like a black a, a black green so i'm going to take out these is it a black green? Um, I'll take this one out. This is this is a Pat McGrath. Let's see, Thorn and Twilight. They they don't look so different from each other. Put that there. All right, we're duping the vibes. We're duping the vibes. Okay, mulberry. I don't think I picked anything else for mulberry. So that's really like a, um, it looks like a burnt orange to me. A burnt orange. So we have this option from Unearthly. Oh, no, it's not from Unearthly. This is from a Necromancy Cosmetica palette. Um, this one is from Nomad. This is Spandau Citadel. So, okay. Let's separate out now purpley or purple-inspired shades over here. Let's take out... Um, going to separate out the mats. Okay. And then these are some shimmers. Okay. Oh, what palette am I going to put this in? So I have a number of options. Let's see. I have this one. I have a feeling though this won't be big enough. Um, so I think this one, this, um, very inexpensive palette I got on Amazon, which so many people I watch have. Um, this is the one we'll use. Okay. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Should we just go and order down these? Let's try to get the purple sorted out. Real, I think like Divine and Moonlight really sort of are what attracted me to this palette. So that's what we should be starting to really get a feel for those. And there's also Midnight. Um, the shade right below Divine on the bottom row. Um, sort of like a very dark, burgundy, shimmery kind of color. So, okay. So, oh, 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 I can't believe I forgot. So I forgot about my Natasha Denona palettes. Um, this is the purple one. But I want to get this shade out right here. That is called Nina's Orchid because I feel like that is the right color for what we want, right? Okay. Okay, so where did I put that one? Um... So that is, it's a little blown out on camera. Maybe that's a better, a better view. But it's kind of, it's more of a grape. This unearthly shade may, so this is, this is Natasha Denona, this is unearthly. So let's put these aside right now. Now this one here is a shade I feel like I want to get in the palette no matter what. Isn't that amazing? So this one is going in my palette. Okay, let's see what else we have here. This is an unearthly shade. Um, it's in the, it's called Verve. 
Uh, it's really beautiful. It's sort of a gold to green, and that might be an interesting way to bring in the gold and the green in this palette, but in a different kind of way. So let me put that there. Um, yeah, and these purples are really more like a, like a grape. I might have to bring Natasha Denona back. See if we can find a. Is there a lilac in here? No, not really. Okay, you know what, folks? I can't believe I um, forgot about my other Natasha Denonas, and specifically, whenever I have thought about making the this palette or my version of it, I always imagined it was going to have razzle dazzle in it. I can't believe I totally. Um, forgot about that. So Razzle Dazzle. Let's look at Razzle Dazzle. I mean, it's not the same kind of, of um, you know, it's a sort of a shimmery metallic. It's not what's in the ABH palette, but it's beautiful. So we'll take that one out. Is there anything else we want from here before I put it back? Okay. I think we're done with Circle Loco. Um, I have the Triochrome, which could be an option for... Let's pull out... Let's pull out Kinetic. And let's pull out Redox. Okay. So here is Kinetic. It's not lilac, but it is, um, yeah, it's more like a, it's more kind of a cool purple. I don't think that one is severally fits. I love that shade, but I don't think this one necessarily works. Okay. Um, last but not least, I have the Retro. Still looking for some kind of toppery kind of shade. And this is Glitz from the Retro Palette, which may, that may work for us. Okay. What about Psychedelic? Psychedelic really is, um, it's a little more like a pink, but it is a very light toppery kind of shade. Okay. I feel like we need to um, feel like we need to go back. Let's make some decisions. So we're going to start with that divine shade again, which is the entire draw to the palette for me. We have um, this is a Natasha Denona from the blue purple palette. This is Natasha Denona from Circle Loco. This is an unearthly shade. And this is also an unearthly shade. So there are those four. Let's swatch. So it looks like Divine has, I don't know if it's like a satin kind of formula. I still kind of feel like these two, it looks like the Circle Loco. It's the right shade. I'm not sure it's the right finish. I'm going to put it across anyway, so I think we're still where we were. Um, this Unearthly, 
I'm not sure about. We'll come back to that. All right, so now we think we're okay with the magenta. Now we're looking at... My camera keeps overheating because I think it's just not interested in this video. And I, I got to say, I can't blame it. So where I was when the camera died was Glaminatrix Kitten, this Jeffree Star, um, this Natasha Denona Retro, and this Natasha Denona Retro Shade, right? So we're kind of looking for a good option for... Um, I guess I'll do it here. That's interesting. They don't they don't swatch the way I would have expected. I love 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 kitten. Um, I think that's going to go in. Let me think of these others. I feel like this shade here. Um, what was it in the retro? Glitz and Psychedelic. That's Psychedelic. That's Glitz. I feel like Psychedelic gives a little more of like, a, it's a very sheer toppery kind of feel, right? So let's go with that one. Um, this Jeffree Star one, even though it's pink, it it um, it has a very strong kind of gold flip. I don't know if you see that. Let's put that aside. Now let's look at those greens, right? There's Thorns and Twilight. They're both dark. Um, but Twilight looks like it almost is a forest green to black, whereas... Thorns looks like a dark khaki to me. So, um, and you know what I can't forget is, again, oh, God. well, I just dropped my Metropolis. Um, that was fun. But I feel like this gives us um, this shade here, which is called Troop. That looks like a good shade, right? Okay, let's take out Troop. Is there anything else we want here? There's also this shade, which is called Lethal. A little more of a yellow. Okay, let's take that out. And then what I was trying to get was my, um, oh, these palettes are so dirty, so dirty. Let's see, we have Panesia and Bottle Green. They're both shimmery, they're not mattes. They look flaky, but they're not. It's just my um, nasty, crepey skin. <clears throat> okay, I don't, I don't like either of those. I don't like either of those. I might still come back to this palette for other colors, though. But for the greens, I don't like those. So for the greens, okay, we have like a... I think this one's too bright. It's too blue. Um, I think I thought that... This is a, it's a little, it has a little more yellow in it than uh, what it looks like in the palette. This one very much so. I wonder if my Yucca palette would have something in it. And I thought I just had looked at something and I liked it. Was it this one? Or oh, this is more of a brown. No, that one looks like this might, this one might be good for thorns, okay? 
don't, I don't think those work. What about the shade here, scrap? That's an option. And uh, once again, um, the camera um, turned off. I, I feel like here are my options for thorns that so have sort of that grungy green. The shade on the end, it looks like a forest green, twilight. It looks like a forest green, but then it also looks much darker in the other image of it, of um, the shade sort of mashed up. So I pulled out this dark brown that can almost be like a, a black. And I think for a dark shade like that, if its point is to sort of deepen up an outer corner, this might do. So, and also, I mean, look at them. These are, you know, these are lighter than this one. So I'm going to put those aside. Uh, let's try to do something a little easier. So let's look at the bottom row. Let's do some of the mats. So leather just looks like a, a taupey brown. So that's a nomad. This is a color pop. I think the Nomad is a better option. Um, we have Crimson, which is that sort of burnt orange. So that's an unearthly shade. Here's a Nomad shade. They look practically identical. Um, I'll just pick the, I'll just pick the unearthly to pick one. Um, I have ember, which is that brown with sparkles, and I thought this one might be a good option. All right. Let's put that in there. I also, um... I pulled out this shade from the Xenon palette. This is, I don't know how to pronounce it, Neve. Uh, anyway, this is like a topper. So I thought that one might work out well. This one is, that's a little more of a brick. Let's throw that in there. All right, so I see like leather and smoke are two shades that are, we can kind of complement each other. So this is the Glaminatrix Fox. I'm gonna put that there. Okay, we have an option for Moonlight, or do we? Okay, then there's Fireside and there's Crown, right? So Fireside is a little bit more of like a coppery kind of shade. It's certainly in the ABH palette, Fireside is more of, a, of an orange. Although... The finish of this one might be like, let's put them both in. We'll try them out. Okay, then there's crown, which looks like a light yellow gold. And so we have, this is a Beauty Bay palette. Um, this is a Jeffree Star. Who is this? I don't know who this is. Oh, the back came off. I 
I think the Beauty Bay is kind of the closest. Right? All right, let's, let's see what I can, um, let's put this together now and see what we, what we have. At least put it out and see what happens. So, okay, here's the Glaminatrix Fox and the Haunted Europe um, with my magnetic back fell off, but I'll put that there. Um, I chose this one from the Retro. Not which one it was but it's it's very light like a topper and I'm going to swatch everything out when I'm done um thorns I'm going to take this one fireside and crimson it's either this one or this one I'll uh, I'll decide a sec okay Divine so divine and then this is a mat which I think is good to have so right away this is where my palette is going to deviate um, okay crown and mulberry and then ember and twilight oh i forgot um hmm. this is the topper oh oh and then there's this one this is kitten it's really too shimmery though um but i know one of the complaints people had was that this one was too sheer this is more pink but it's a okay i think that's what we had anyway right um have enough green in here um well i have that green mat so oh it looks like my bottoms are all mattes and the top is all shimmer which is and then i wanted to get this one in somewhere so is the reality am i going to use this mat and one of these no I, i'm not that creative um you know, also because it's my palette, I could also squeeze in more things if I want, right? So that's what I feel coming on. So mine's going to maybe have that holochrome. And a topper. Maybe mine's going to have more of a forest green, right? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 15. Um, okay, there's palettes that are 15 shades, right? A, a Natasha Dona palette is typically a 15 uh, shade palette. So let me now see if I can rearrange this to make it a pretty way.
I have to say, I am, um, I am really happy with this. I like the addition of the white topper. Gives a little different feel than that. I like the, the two greens. Um, this darker shade is good. I love the holochrome because it has both green and purple in it. I don't know if you can do it here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got green and purple in it. Sorry if the light is washing it out. But um, such a fun color. So um, yeah, I'm very happy with my ABH Fall Romance dupe. I like it um, better than the original. Um, excuse my swatches, particularly of the mats, because I've been wiping my hands off so much that they didn't swatch well, but they, um, you know, they're, they're perfectly, um, perfectly good quality in the pans. That was really just mine. Um, all right. Let me know what you think. friends it is the following day and I just wanted to give um, uh, a little bit of an update on my custom palette so overall the look of it I absolutely love um, I put together an eye look this morning it was very dramatic <laughs> I ended up taking it off because I thought it was a little bit too much for a couple of zoom meetings I had to do but um, it, it was totally fun and I feel like I've completely, you know, I got the benefit of that color story without having to spend the money. So that's great. But what I also realized is, and I remember now today as I was using it, that some people have said, you know, there's a lot of mid-tones, um, but there's nothing light. And, and I agree. So I wanted to come back and just tweak my palette a little. And, um, I think I can probably get away, so let's see, for example, I have all these browns. I, I, I'm now, I don't, I'm not looking at the palette, so um, I don't think I need to try to match everything like I was yesterday. Um, so I think of all of these, it's probably worth putting in something, you know, maybe like this. It, it definitely needs a lighter, a lighter mat. Um, I like this one here, and um, but I think that is good. In terms of these, you know, do I want the chocolate brown? Do I want this sort of of? Um, I think this one. This maybe gives a little more of a difference from this darker mat here. So I'll put this one back, and then. Um, no, I don't know if this is a little bit redundant. Okay, so that's my video. Let me know what you think of this eyeshadow palette. Um, even though I'm trying to use a lot of pink things this month, I'm allowing lavender to kind of be part of my month of pink eyeshadow. And um, I'm excited to use this one for whatever is left for the month of February. And um, I'll let you know how it turned out. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you would be willing to give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate that. I would love a comment and even better if you would subscribe so you don't miss any videos that I post. I'm trying to post two to three videos a week. Um, but of course, don't feel obligated to do any of that. I am just happy and grateful that you are here. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you again in another video real soon.